Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl and The Flash. They've got new synopsis, but also we're going to talk about some leaks from Crisis coming from Canada Graphs that I wasn't able to catch up with last week, but we are finally getting around to it. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year just before we get into this i just want to say a massive thank you to all of you guys who have been supporting me recently but especially for yesterday it was my birthday and i want to say a massive thank you to all of you who said a happy birthday it just means a lot you know to see that you guys support the channel support me really nice of you guys so yeah let's go ahead and get into this video so first thing we're going to talk about is this crisis stuff this is really great, really great content from Canada Graphs. I mean, like I said in my last video, really, really good photos, getting some great looks at some of the moments, this crisis especially, doing a great job. So all go check out Canada Graphs. His Twitter will be in the link in the description below. Also, his blog post, because there are so many more photos you can check out. I'm going to be including about like six or eight in this video. We'll have to wait and see. But let's go ahead and talk about this final blog post to do with Crisis because if you didn't know, they have finished filming Crisis right now and the only thing they're going to do is a few like reshoots and pick up scenes, maybe if they feel like they have to go back and do that. And additionally, there is obviously some indoor stuff that they might do in like some voice dubbing and that's about it for Crisis really for now. Okay, so so let's move on to talk about the blog. So on this day, the crew for Legends of Tomorrow were in an area of Vancouver called Cole Harbor, which should be familiar to Arrowverse fans as it was the same block that Earth 90's Flash showed up in Elseworlds against the Monitor. So it's the very same place. And this time they shot a couple of different scenes here. The first one had Grant as the Flash, Brandon Ralph as the Atom, and Melissa Benoist as Supergirl. They were shooting a scene where the trio were in the middle of the street. As civilians scramble to get out of there, Flash and Supergirl are facing what I assume is some sort of problem, while the Atom seems more excited to just take a selfie of himself and his friends, that being Supergirl and the Flash, and the Flash gives him the are you kidding look, and eventually the Atom turns to face the situation. After a few moments of banter, the team seems to split up, Flash runs forward while Supergirl simulates flying off, and the Atom seems to just disappear. Wondering if he went super small size and off to the side of where the camera was. So, yeah, let's break this down. So, I'll have some photos on the screen right now. We can see Supergirl, the Flash and the Atom like we talked about. So, they're all facing off against something. And it's something which is off camera, which means they could have shot another shot and they showed that. But I'm guessing it's CGI. That's why they haven't um, done it obviously live on the set. But they are reacting to something and the Atom is fanboying out over fighting with Supergirl and the Flash, which I find very, very funny. Like you can see in this shot, he is smiling, he's taking a photo, Grant. Obviously, as the Flash is like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, what are you doing? We're in the middle of this battle and same thing with Supergirl. She's like, huh? It's kind of funny. I like it a lot. And we got various photos of that from Canada Graphs. Great photos. But what's happening you know it's supergirl and the flash teaming up you know taking it very seriously the atom sort of goofing off basically is what we can get from this nothing much more but a bit later the trio moved down the street they were joined by dominic purcell as mick rory slash heat wave for a scene the scene seemed to have heat wave in the middle of the street pointing his heat gun at something slash someone above him therefore indicating cgi right so off to his right, the Flash was busy in a tug of war with something. In reality, it was a crew member, but we're not actually sure what it's supposed to be. Eventually, the pair freeze for a moment while Atom and Supergirl come in and act like they just zipped in. Then they help the Flash in his tug of war and Heat Wave grabs on the back end of it. Eventually, they seem to win the tug of war, sending the Flash falling backwards with Supergirl catching him. And yeah, so let's break this down. So... That was the official wrap, I think, just after that. But let's talk about these photos that Canada Graphics was able to get. We've got this photo right here. You see Mick Rory as Heatwave. 
To be honest, I forgot he was going to be in the crossover. Maybe that's because Legends is not back on till the mid-season, so I kind of wasn't thinking about Legends. But that's really cool. He's in a scene with Supergirl, the Flash, and the Atom. You can see the Atom and the Flash, obviously, in the same shot. Then we move on. Melissa is having an amazing time. Like, I've been really enjoying these photos, especially, like, of Grant and Melissa. They have been killing it. They are so funny. There was um, a post that was sent out by Melissa on her Instagram the other day with the Flash, with her and Grant actually just running, like racing, speed walking. Just great content. I love it. I love the behind the scenes stuff. So yeah, she's goofing around with Brandon behind the scenes whilst they are shooting this scene. The funniest photo. And when I first saw this, I was like, what the hell is happening here? And it still makes me cackle. It is hilarious. Look at this photo right here. This is the bit we talked about with Supergirl catching the Flash in this tug of war. He pings back. What are they doing with their faces? What are they doing? It's the funniest thing. Let me know your reactions in the comments down below. I was howling over this. So let's move on to talk about Supergirl. So we got a new synopsis for episode 7 of season 5. This is getting interesting now because we are bringing in Leviathan, which is awesome to hear, and we are figuring out what's happening with Supergirl and Lena. So this is how it goes. Sometimes the person you would take a bullet for is standing behind the trigger. Supergirl finally learns the truth about Lena while tangling with Leviathan. John Jones makes a discovery about his brother's whereabouts. Wow, man, I am super, Super hyped for this episode. This is what I've been waiting for. We are finally resolving the Supergirl and Lena stuff. I think maybe they are dragging it a bit too long. Episode 7, obviously we have to wait a few weeks. But, I mean, it's a good time. Like, if they carried it on longer, I would have been like, eh, don't know about that. So I'm really happy and kind of surprised they revealed in the synopsis that Supergirl is going to find out about Lena. And Lena's linked to Leviathan. So she's tangling with Leviathan. We really don't know anything about Leviathan. We've seen some behind the scenes photos of the Leviathan lady coming back. The old lady from the end of last season. I'm guessing that's going to have some stuff to do with Eve and, you know, her new looks now. But apart from that, I'm super excited. Very excited for this episode. Jean makes a discovery about his brother's whereabouts. Not sure what's going to happen with this, but I think Manifex is going to go away by the time of Crisis, so maybe it's linking to that. So leave your reactions in the comments down below to this big revelation that Lena is going to be exposed to Supergirl. And she's going to be linked to Leviathan, which is very intriguing to me. Okay, so let's move on to talk about The Flash. So we've got a new synopsis for episode 6 of The Flash. And so... This is titled License to Elongate. This is Daniel Panabaker's second directorial episode. I'm a little bit disappointed that this is Danielle's episode because I think she could have got something more to do with Crisis and that would have been a bit more interesting because I feel like this is going to be more of like a one-off episode, I guess, because it's more to do with Ralph and, you know, it's before Crisis and I think... I don't know, maybe she would have had more to chew on, but I'm not saying this episode's not going to be good. I'm just saying the Crisis stuff is really interesting at the moment. Okay, so Ralph goes deep undercover. Barry turns his attention to prepping Elongated Man for a life after Crisis and without the Flash. But Ralph ultimately teaches Barry a lesson. Meanwhile, Cecile faces her own moment of self-discovery while helping a recuperated Chester P. Rank reclaim his identity. Okay, so let's break this down. So Ralph goes deep undercover. I'm guessing this has to do with Sue Dearborn, who has been teased this season, but I really don't know when she's going to show up because it seems like they're dragging that on a bit long. Um, let's talk about Ralph. So Ralph is going to be with Barry a lot this episode. They're going to be, you know, preparing for a life without the Flash. And Ralph teaches him a lesson. I'm a bit like, I don't know about that. Ralph seems to be a bit too wise. Like, I think sometimes they try and write him to be, like, too wise than he actually is. I don't know. That's just me. 
Um, so Seal faces a moment of self-discovery. Not so hype about that because I feel like she does that every synopsis that I read. I don't know, but the Seal stuff is always really small, but they always put it in the synopsis, which is kind of strange. So Chester P. Runks returning. Yeah, I guess that's cool. Like, he was pretty good in the episode he was in, but he didn't really feature that much. So, this episode... Nothing really to get that excited for apart from preparing Ralph for a world without the Flash. That's about it. Obviously, Danielle directed this, so that's to be excited for. But I think I'm more excited for the Supergirl episode, to be honest. It sounds really good. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.